What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Respawn has been giving us more and more details uh, over the last couple weeks talking about the game. Considering we're getting closer to that April release date, we'll start to hear more and more about the game. There's been some kind of hands-on uh, time with the game as of late for some different uh, companies you know, that write video game articles, things like that, IGN, GameSpot. And a lot of them have been talking about how the game has more of an open world feel. And of course, Respawn said to kind of, they had a lot of pressure on them considering uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was so popular, they felt like they had high expectations to kind of live up to. So they wanted to build upon that lightsaber combat, but more importantly, they wanted the game to have more of an open world kind of feel. So the planets will feel more open where you can go out and just explore them instead of following just a linear storyline. And over the last you know day or so, we've seen some kind of, uh, gameplay from this. I will link this down in the description below if you want to watch some of this gameplay that has been shown off kind of the open world aspect of the game. But instead of just going from point A to point B to kind of follow the story, players will actually be able to go around and just explore the planet, find different areas in the game and just kind of be an exploration kind of idea like a regular kind of open world RPG game would. And players can really, it says, discover a wide open area a wide open planet and it will give players more freedom to do kind of what they want so if you don't want to just you know do the story and be done you will actually be able to go around and discover a lot of things on these planets that you wouldn't uh, you know you wouldn't be able to if you just went from point a to point b doing the story they said there's going to be different bosses different areas different puzzle areas now some of these areas you will not be able to maybe go into at early stages of the game there will be some restrictions but as you continue to progress through the game as you uh, kind of continue to unlock more things you will be able to go back to these planets and it will be opened up even more and it says the world then will kind of sprawl or the planet will kind of sprawl in every direction and this open layout allows players to encounter uh, really secrets and enemies that they may miss if they stuck to the main path. That's kind of how Respawn worded it. So it looks like the game's going to have a lot more playtime and playability to it instead of just being a, like I said, kind of a linear story arc where you just go from point A to point B doing the story. You start the game and you finish the game. I know a lot of people nowadays kind of feel, uh, you know, almost bad when they buy a game you know that's 20 30 hours and they just kind of complete it really quick games are expensive and i feel like the more that companies do the kind of this option or have this option now in their game where you can explore more if it's going to be an rpg style game the more uh, the more exploration out there the more people really stick and kind of stick to that game and you know continue to play it they will put a ton of hours in it just exploring all the different things that are available so I was really excited to hear this about Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.